largest challenge that I see is providing individualized supports that are tailored to the people living in, in the group homes. People want their autonomy. And the traditional model is where the routine is a lot of times set out for you, which becomes frustrating to some individuals. So the autonomous living technology allows individuals to live as independently as possible by setting out tasks for the day. For instance, it can remind them to brush their teeth, remind them to take their, their medication, remind them to call a loved one. It has mood tracking, allows us to know how someone's feeling. And as a caregiver, knowing all of that information remotely gives us peace of mind. There are sensors that would be placed within an individual's home that would be attuned to their routines and lifestyle. Those sensors could detect whether a stove has been left on, whether a fridge has been left open, all being monitored remotely by the support provider. It also is less intrusive to the individual, allows them to lead more inclusive and independent lives. Another advantage would be that it helps workforces utilize their staffing better. It will help us as caregivers know that we're helping people. It's letting people live inclusive lives, be as independent as possible without that intrusion, without someone telling them what to do. This will change people's lives.